Hey guys, Greg's 96 here. Happy Friday. Today, we are taking a look, after all the fun I had with seeing if that MacBook could play some Counter-Strike, we're testing out whether or not this $13 laptop can play Counter-Strike. The particular laptop in question is my Asus X205T. It is a 11.5 inch netbook with a dual core Intel Atom at 1.33 gigahertz. Uh, I believe that is nominal, not turbo. Uh, 2 gigs of RAM, a 32 gig SSD. And that's, that's it. <laughs> there is nothing super special about this thing, except like when I'm doing regular work, it gets like 12 hours of battery life. So it's amazing in that regard. And I paid $13 for it. Receipt will be on the screen now. And, um, yeah, so we're going to jump into it, and I'm going to be providing some comments as we go. Unlike with the MacBook Pro, I played through an entire game on this because I was curious to see if it would have any thermal issues because it is entirely passively cooled. And believe it or not, this thing did not overheat and shut down during the entire time we played. Um, and that was for about 45 minutes to an hour. It was a long game. I think it was like 16 to 12 final score. Uh, so it was ridiculous. This thing was a trooper, and um, yeah, let's just get into some highlights. Jump cut! Alright, so, first things first is, we gotta test to see if this computer will even launch Counter-Strike. I see a little notification saying I'm playing it on my other computer here that's recording, so this is um, maybe promising. Oh. I just heard a Windows noise. What did I do? I hear little clicks like it's trying to do things. Not but I oh I have an intro. This screen is so tiny, this is gonna suck. Oh my god, this is gonna be terrible. So the question is what map do I try to go for here? Because I think I should actually like pick a map that I really know well. So no cash, no overpass, no cobble, no nuke, no train. I guess we can... I guess we can queue for any of those, really. It's noticeably warm through the computer. Okay, it's dust. Not what I was hoping for, but it'll do, I guess. This keyboard is so tiny. Like, literally, the keyboard top to bottom is like the length of my middle finger. These keys are microscopic. Hey team, how's it going? What up? I can go long? I'm gonna try to play long. Oh my Ah, uh, one's in sight. Ah, uh, he's up for 31. Okay. Bomb down, cat. I'm just laughing. I don't know how I'm, I I don't know how I have five kills. Like I'm doing better on this one than I was on the MacBook. <laughs> Maybe I have to change my opinion. Like you see, I'm floating in like anywhere from 15 to 30 FPS. Like with this low of an FPS, anything but a P90 is just a joke.
Bomb down. Did I forget to flip my sign? No. What's up? Oh, yeah, I'm recording. I'm doing a test to see if a $13 laptop can handle really anything, and it's doing surprisingly well. What were the uh, calipers from? Just grabbed them at work? Or? Just throw them out. Really? There's a little bit of depth point. That's not that bad, though. You could easily grind those back into square. Ooh, these are Michitoyos, too. These are like... These are about a $130 pair of calipers. And they were throwing them out. I'm glad you grabbed them. Guy says, do not start. We're throwing them out. Wow. Michitoyos, like I said, those are like hundred dollar those are like probably hundred twenty dollar pair of calipers and they were just tossing them <laughs> gotta love business plus you get the inside too right yeah like i said they're not that bad off I'm proud of that. I am going to be honest, I'm proud of that. This is a close game. I'm not playing terrible. So, oh, wow, I just got out of focus there, apparently. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Boop. Let's talk for a minute. You see my 3D printer there. So, let's take a moment here. I went 20 and 23 on a $13 laptop <laughs> with a dual-core Atom at 1.33 gigahertz. Actually, let's do this really quick. Um... Let's go perfometer. Come on. <laughs> That's nutty. Basically just chilling up at peak usage that whole time, basically. I wish I had temperatures, but I don't. So, let's take a moment to appreciate the fact that you have a $13 laptop, and I will put receipts all over this video to show you the fact that it literally is a $13 laptop. But with a third... Oh, I got an inventory item? That should tell you how bad it's doing it. The CPU is making the sound go boom. It can't even process sound. 
when I change a screen. But anyways, so thirteen dollar little Asus laptop can play CS:GO, and I was playing well enough that my team didn't think I was the reason that we were losing, even though I was playing awful. So yeah, uh, about that. I don't think I'm playing on a laptop is an excuse i know last week i was like yeah playing on a laptop can maybe be an excuse playing on a laptop is not an excuse anymore i um i don't believe you if you say i'm playing on a laptop that's not an excuse you should still be playing fine that's all for this science video um see you guys later peace